<laughs> Lately, you know, the word has been coming to my mind, and I was thinking about the word investor, yes. investor, mm -hmm. and what it is to invest in life and to invest in humanity, because investing in life is investing in humanity, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, I said, oh, I said, this is a perfect opportunity while we're doing a new broadcast and welcome everybody, yes. Life in Motion. Awesome. While we're doing our new broadcast, we can talk about uh, investing, which will kind of lead us into talking about some good things that are happening. And one good thing is that the, the Kids School of the Prophetic at Cincinnati Bible Way Church is going to be going on in April, and it's so important. But before we do that, Sheree, I believe you got some uh, news for us, something we need to hear. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, welcome to everybody, but also to uh, let you know, throwing a disclaimer out there about our life in motion. The disclaimer is the fact that we are human, that we are fallible. We are not God. And so what you're listening to today and from here on out will be our actual opinion. So just remember, that's our disclaimer. We are fallible. We are not infallible as God is. And so we are subject to have opinions. Amen. All Amen. right. Yeah, that's a good word. That's, that's, a, that's a good word. But I was talking about this word investor, you know, mm -hmm. and, and with the good things that are going on uh, at the uh, Cincinnati Bible Way Church and the Kids School of the Prophetic coming up April the 29th and April the 30th. And think about what an awesome time it is for our kids to, you know, hear the voice of God. I mean, everything that's going on in the world, I mean, is just important. So, should we? Talk to us a bit about hearing the voice of God. Just some things that the Lord put on your heart about it, you know. Amen. Well, you know, I believe from the very beginning when we said that we were going to have the School of Prophetic at Cincinnati Bible Way Church, that uh, that was just such a good idea because people have seemed to have forgotten yes. about the children. Yes. I mean, the world is talking about the children, and the church is talking about the children, too. However, we're not talking about the children to the extent that they, too, need to hear the voice of God. Mm -hmm. And I think this school of the prophetic mm -hmm. is going to be good. Mm -hmm. It's not to say that the child is a prophet, but it is to say that it's very key that in these days and in these yes. times, our children definitely need to be hearing God's voice. They need to know when they step outside. Mm -hmm. Is this God telling me to go in this direction? Is this God telling me, wait a minute, hold, let me check in with God before I make a move? Yes. And our children yes. need that. It is so yes. key. Yes. It is so key. That is good. You know, when you were saying that, I thought about, you know, if we look at the world today and we look at everything that's going on all around the world, we see all the children that are displaced, thousands mm -hmm. and thousands of children are displaced from their families. They're in... Uh, strange territory but what a privilege what a beauty if they know how to hear the voice of god that god could direct them and speak to them yes. and say no you go this way uh danger when they see a stranger um mm -hmm. you know god lead them you need to go and knock on that door hearing the voice of god it's like the end times are coming up and we're seeing all kinds of stuff going yes. on in the world and it is just so important so I will become an investor in that, meaning I'm going to do whatever I can to invest in the kingdom of God to make sure that these children are in place, whether my children or your children or if it need be, I may have to sponsor someone. I believe we have a, um, yes. a donation of $15 per child mm -hmm. and sponsoring that child, making sure that you're investing in life, but also in life which is to come. There may be a time that God takes us up off the planet. Our yes. children are left. Yes. What yes. do we say? What, what right. do we do? Amen. Yes. You know, as you were talking, um, you know, just teaching our children some basic uh, things through the inner witness is. They are, every, mm. There's an inner witness. Mm. And he That's is good. a real entity. You know, yes. he's and they need to know who he is. And that's the best way I can explain it to a child is, you know, using examples about who the inner witness is. You know, do you ever uh, on occasion sometime uh, hear 
a voice is saying, um, be careful. Mm, maybe you shouldn't go that way home from school today. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should tell your friend that's not a good idea. Uh, that's being a witness. Holy Spirit yes. dwelling on the inside of us. And they need to know who he is. And they need to know that he's not out here or up in the sky somewhere. All right. He's inside of us, moving and speaking mm, yes, and yes. directing and guiding. And so, back to what you were saying, Sheree, is that uh, thank God that Cincinnati Bible Way has taken on this challenge and taken on this uh, critical mission to uh, enlighten our children because, as you said, Prophet, we could be gone. No one knows on down the road somewhere, God willing. Mm -hmm. uh, but our children could still be here. And the way things are looking, we're going to need and they're going to need wow. all the help they can get to mm -hmm. put on strength in this hour. Wow. So they can hear that inner witness, hear the Holy Spirit of God, you know, and speaking to them and giving them clear instruction and direction as to where they need to go, when they need to go, how they need to do it, you know, the five, the, the W's, where, when, how, where, and the how, <laughs> you know, in this hour. And you know, the scriptures tell us, train up a child in the way that they Amen. should go, Amen. and they will not depart from it. Another thought that comes to mind is the fact that we are leaving our children here on this earth. Uh, the earth is still going to be going unless Jesus returns. Amen. Um, but we're leaving them here, and they're going to be adults. And so as adults, there are things that they need to know, even as adults. They need to be able to attest to that inner witness, yes, as you yes. spoke about the Holy Spirit. They need to be able to know that, oh, yeah, I know that I have this in me. And so mm -hmm, if I have mm -hmm. questions. But another thought here is they may be brain surgeons. We Amen. may be dealing with the child that is going to bring the cure to cancer. Amen. We may be dealing with the child who is going to figure out how to sustain the world uh, on just water only. I mean, we, yes. we just, oh, you know, we just yeah. never yes. know. Oh, yes. So that child does have to have the ability to hear from God. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. believe that inventions that come about, mm -hmm. God is able to drop that yes. into yes. you. Yes. And so I think, yeah, with, as mm -hmm. CBWC, yes. Cincinnati Bible Way, we yes. are, yes. Yes. you know, giving our children an opportunity mm -hmm. or giving the children, not just yes. our children. So when I speak of our children, I want everyone to realize uh, I consider our children yes. all yes. the children. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're giving them the opportunity mm -hmm. to have a first hands up yes. on mm -hmm. hearing the voice of God. Yeah. You know, I was thinking um, about uh, the bishops, uh, Bishop James and Grace Lou, and I'm vi this is a vision that God has placed in their hearts, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm thanking God that they decide to be investors, to go forth mm -hmm. and yes. put forth the effort. And because sometimes there's kickback when you get ready to do some different things, you know. But thank God for men and women mm -hmm. that are willing to pay the price to go forward anyhow, you know. And, you know, and with the world and the things that we face, somebody said, well, what if this one don't show up or that one don't show up? You know, we're not concerned about that, but investing in the earth. Uh, yes. And that is, you know, God told, uh, call uh, Jacob Israel. One man can represent a nation of individuals. We don't know who these child children are. One could be a scientist. The other mm -hmm. one could be the next president of the, uh, you know, United States when his, you know, that his age time comes, you know. Uh, one could be, uh, we don't know, world changers, world leaders. We don't know who we're investing in. But are you willing to invest because the heart of God is in this? Uh, that you're not looking at who shows and who does show, not show. But you're looking at the will yes, and the yes, plan yes. of God going forward and being orchestrated. Now, we believe in God to bless all the children uh, th th that he would just pile the children in, bring all that he's... Uh, desire to be in but that means that you have to join us as investors mm -hmm. you have to go get that nephew that cousin that um uh that friend and you have to call the california and by the way hi joyce joyce is from kenya but she's in california now yes. she's online with us now 
And uh, so, Joyce, if you know someone in California, they have children. We're doing Zoom online also. Yes. You can uh, Zoom in, stream in, and be a part of this great time. And I sense God is really, uh, it's a, a Kairos moment. It is an appointed yes. time that heaven, that God Almighty is going to release impartations. I sense for the children and the parents, it is important mm -hmm. to be in this atmosphere at this particular time. So, I pray you come, mm -hmm. and we're going to continue to look into the camera and just uh, just <laughs> share the good news with you about Amen. what's going on. Amen. But uh, Amen. Uh, what else comes to mind about the kids for today? I was thinking of when you were talking about investing, uh, a legacy. Amen. You know, that's the greatest that's thing I think Ooh, we can good. leave our children and grandchildren and, and future children, anybody's children is a legacy of investing them and equipping them yes. uh, and armoring them up with the Word of God. And, uh, and I'm glad you mentioned about the uh, adults because Cincinnati Bible Way has not left out the adults. Thank you, Jesus, because <laughs> it takes one to lead one. So these kids, you know, um, they're going to need some leadership. And definitely in this hour, we need to keep our parents up in prayer, or the guardians, grandparents, whoever is stewarding these precious kids all over the place. Uh, they need help, to, uh, and they need just as much equipping as the children do, because uh, we're all struggling. You know, there's, there's one struggle over here, one struggle over there. There's uh, obstacles to overcome everywhere. Uh, and we all need to put on the mind of Christ and put on and be equipped with uh, strength, uh, the strength of that energy, of the Holy uh, Spirit in this hour. And so when I think about investing, I think about legacy. And because um, um, it's a lifetime. Mm -hmm. You know, investing is a lifetime, but why bother? You know, it's not a temporary fix. You know, it made me think the, uh, just the other day as we did something yesterday for my grandson uh he's good at drawing okay. so to make a long story short uh there was a class an opportunity came up so i made sure he understood he didn't need to know the amount that was put into or the investment monetarily he needed to know that he's being invested in All right. not with money mm -hmm. i believe in you i believe oh, in your good. gifts i believe in what god's doing in your life i believe you know and so, uh, you know, written a note down, you know, how are we investing? What are we investing? You know, and I think in this hour, I do believe it's a, an appointed season for children. And I do believe that God wants to make some impartations in our children. And so we as adults, you know, uh, we want to do all we can, as much as we can. And mm -hmm. yes, uh, oh, there's doors open everywhere. You know, there's never been a season right now, and I know y'all agree. I mean, with social media, I mean, you can be, you can just bask in the goodness of the Lord everywhere. That you know? is true. That is so. true. And I'm glad you mentioned that too with the adults, uh -huh. because at uh, this event, the adults are going to have to attend yes. a session, yes. and that is a session where we're going to actually teach the adults how to deal with your child yes. hearing the voice of God. And I believe that some adults will even get their eyes open mm -hmm. to some things. And mm -hmm. you spoke about a legacy. And um, how can we leave the legacy if we don't know we need to leave a legacy? Yes. And you mentioned that um, as far as the adults leaving this legacy to their children, the adults must also know about hearing the voice of God. I can't lead my child or tell my child a way to go if I don't know myself. Amen. So Amen. we open the door uh, with this special segment yes. in the yes. event to yes. train the adults on also the hearing God. the voice of God and knowing the difference yes. and discerning and all of that. So Amen. I think it's, it's just going to be a sure win all the way around for everyone. I do think it is. I yeah. Do. I was thinking, you know, uh, someone, you may have a child and that child is having nightmares, um, can't sleep, or that child is saying, uh, there's a man in the kitchen, 
uh, and you know mm -hmm. that there's no one home but you and them, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Hollywood has been telling stories for years about the supernatural and things that are going on. And it's time that the door is open and the people of God are educated and the children are educated about spiritual matters and about angels and the different things about yes. the kingdom of God. And so what an opportunity for you to bring your child and begin to uh, learn about why is my child waking up in terror? Why is my child uh, seeing all these strange things? What's going on? And begin to uh, get in tune and learn about those things. And we have a um, just a staff that of people, individuals mm -hmm. there that the, they they are investing their lives and the things that God has blessed them to learn through the years. They are mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. first class at. They know their stuff, and they're going to pour and impart into these children. They're yes. set to be kingdom investors for the glory of God, meaning that it means something to them. They're not just doing something to do it, but they know it's important. And as you see the world turn and all the things that are happening, we know that we need to prepare our children for this hour that we're living in. I mean, things are being unhinged. But we need children that can hear from God that when you're going to the grocery store, you're in the grocery store, and God knows that something's up, and that child can say, Mommy, we need to leave now. We mm -hmm. need to leave now. You're going to be on the inside scoop that your child is a child that hears from God, and even you're going to see it proven in your home when you listen to your child and many things that they will yes. say Absolutely. that will uh, uh, pan out. You'll see the reality that, yes, he's hearing from God, and that mama, whoever that mama is, will set the course and get out of that store because she knows her child has heard from God. And even while we're talking today, if you will be an investor and share this broadcast, if you will be an investor and just go and send it out to a friend, share with someone else, it's called investing mm -hmm. in the kingdom of God. And it's like what you make happen for somebody else, God makes happen to, for you. It's like sowing a seed in the ground. How can we sow into each yes. other's life if the and God causes the harvest to come up. So when we sow seed, there's something that comes up. There's a return that comes up. Yes. So we want to invest in the lives of others and just be watching. And also on that night, that Friday night, there's an opportunity. The children are going to be invited to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. How many parents would sleep better if your child, your teenager, knew God, knew Jesus, and just stayed into the things of the Lord and uh, stayed out of harm way of so many things that are going on yes. out there? So we want them to know the Lord in his ways and uh, be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And this is open for the parents, too, that the power of God comes on their lives, that they know how to do life. Life in motion. And you know, Sheree, life in motion is not always a pretty picture. No, no it definitely is not always a pretty picture. <laughs> but nevertheless, yes. it is life in motion. And also, if you don't have a child that you would like to uh, send, mm -hmm. you can still invest. You can still make your investment count. Uh, you can always send a donation. You can go to our website, uh, which is www. Cbibleway.org. I think it's Cbible Way Church or Cbible Way. You know what? I should know that. Uh, I believe it's C W. I think it's Church. I think it's Church. Someone write that in the comment section for us. <laughs> oh my goodness! It, I just went blank. All of a sudden, I should know that. But you can always donate. Go to our website. Click that donate button and you can donate uh, to this event where there can be children who maybe could not afford to come yes. now can come. Right. So. And also, I went on yesterday and I registered on the Cincinnati, Cincinnati by the way, uh, uh, church Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go on there. Go on there. We can get to our website too as well. Yes, Lord. Uh, go on oh, the Facebook page and yes. click. It's real simple, real easy to do and yes. uh, everything. So please yes. go there and do that. Become that investor. We're excited about what God is going to do. A great night of soaking and the next day, Saturday, classes, praise God and learning and just an uh, uh, important time and the children will get certificates of completion and uh, for this particular quarter and the next 
intern, next quarter come. I mean, just feel. It's like going to college. It's like preparing yourself. And just yes. think if you start your children early, oh, my God. Because we have children yes. in our church that go to the classes. And yes. they are prophesying with the adults, praise yes. God. So uh, it is important. So I'm excited. Bless I'm God. very excited. Yeah. I am, definitely. So yeah. don't forget, you can donate right. to uh, this event, even right. if you don't have a child in sin. Amen. As you were uh, was thinking uh, before, we were trying to get about the talk about the website <laughs> or get everybody uh, in the going in the direction uh, mm -hmm. that we're going to go in. Um, uh, about the kids, you know, you definitely. I think about the gifts of kids. You know, the spiritual gifts and. They sometimes may not know what's going on, you know, much less the parents. Because I can recall, I, I'm not a seer. I don't see into another dimension, uh, maybe as other people or kids, but my daughter did and does. Mm. So it's, you know, and you find out things. And, um, and it's good to be able to know how to deal in these areas. So that, I think, is good why the adults need to be there, sure. or the parents. Mm -hmm. but sure. So they can, yeah. if they're not seeing into a, the spiritual realm as their children are, because there's nothing wrong with their kids. You know, my heart goes out today because, you know, how many kids have been called crazy? How many kids have been pushed oh, aside mm -hmm. yeah, and saying, yeah. just go to bed mm -hmm. and stop that nonsense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many children, mm -hmm. you know, have yeah. grown up to be come adults mm -hmm. and, uh, and still don't know? So my heart goes out uh, in these things because there's been no guidance and the church doesn't talk about it as much. They're more now than they used to. But thank God, because it's very real to kids, and it's very real to adults. And uh, so I had to learn as an adult and as a parent of a child that's gifted in these areas. Um, I needed to pray, because as you said, sometimes life in motion is not pleasant. It's very it's very ugly. Exactly. You can you know they see things that it's not a pretty picture. Yeah. That's like nightmares yeah. walking, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. so uh, you can't freak out. You can't jump ship. You can't just shut the door and pretend that things don't happen and things aren't going on in your house. You know, you got to deal. And so I thank God that, you know, this task is being taken on so we can open up some doors of understanding, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, with parents and children so everybody mm -hmm. can just whoo, thrive and yes. grow yeah. and yeah. live life in abundance yeah. and know mm -hmm. that there there's a spiritual realm and a natural mm -hmm. realm that yeah. we operate in all the time yes that's you know? true that's true and they are operating in these realms mm -hmm. all the time yeah whether yeah. we whether some people are or not mm -hmm. doesn't mean they're not yes right. yeah. and so it takes the mind of christ yeah. you know the holy spirit again mm -hmm to direct and coach and mm -hmm. guide and nurture, you know, yes, and yes. let them know, you're going to be all right. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Let's see what God got to say. That's good. You know? That's good. That's good. Oh, God. Amen. That is so good. You yes. know, just you have the firsthand knowledge about this because it's going on in your house, you know, and when I was sharing with Cindy about it, she was so excited. Oh, yes. She got to stirring up, you know. I mean, she got to stirring and going after and going after, you yes. know, the family, you know, to get them so they can be educated about this thing, so they can learn and so they can flow in God to be that answer somebody is looking for in this season, you know. So I'm glad you shared that, yes. you know. And I think about, you know, oh, my God, childhood nightmares when I was coming up. And, yes. you know, nightmares, I mean, you have a you know we have a big mirror in our bedroom, and I'm seeing cats and dogs come out the mirror. And this wasn't like a 
something like blurry. And yes. like, no, no, there was just the real cats and dogs coming out, walking around the room. Amen. And to this day, I'm still fighting a good fight of faith in some areas, you know. <laughs> and so, but, you know, my mom had the a wisdom to put a sheet yes. over the mirror, you know. But if we would get that sheet over the mirror, what happened, you know, we had a little cake and cases going on, you know. But thank God, you know, that there's learning today that somebody yes. is willing yes. to open this thing mm -hmm. up again, as I said. Hollywood has yes. opened up so much, but it's like some ways, you know, when we think back, way back in yes. the day when we first knew Jesus, had we known a lot of the things that we have been privy to learn over the mm -hmm. past few mm -hmm. years, you know, and a lot of things from Apostle James and Grace, you know, about yes. these particular things, you know, had we known back then, you think about, oh God, what, uh, you know, but thanking God where we are now and the yes. things that we're learning, That's you know, that we're still right. learning, because it is so important. Well, you know, here's something to another thought is cultivating. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're cultivating our our children. Amen. We're cultivating Amen. them in, in hearing yes. the Holy Spirit. Amen. But if I think back when um, I was a child, had I known some of the things, I was yes. probably like, is that your daughter that you were speaking mm -hmm. of? Mm -hmm. And so I would have these four thoughts, uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, and it's mm -hmm. like, Okay, this is this. And I would say things yes. that would occur, yes. that would actually happen. Well, of course, I didn't grow up in, in this, and I, I wasn't familiar with it at all. So I just kind of took it for granted that, hey, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. I also realize now as this adult and learning now mm -hmm. that as children, yes. God deposits down inside of children. Yes. Mm -hmm. And God develops you. He doesn't just start developing you when you reach a certain age. That's right. You know, That's right. um, for the most part, we say, okay, at age, what, 21, when people are now into the church or, yes. you know, and yes. now they start going to all these events, they start learning all of this stuff. Well, as children, though, we have to be aware that God has already deposited down in them what he wants them to do. Amen. He already Amen. wrote it. It's in the book. He yes. already wrote it. He yes. already wrote their life yes. in the book. Remember in, in Psalms, I believe it's in Psalms 139, yeah. it talks yeah. about yeah. that God, you knew me in my mother's womb. Yeah. So God had already programmed what I was going to be, what I was going to do, how Amen. I was going to be, all of that in my mother's womb. Mm -hmm. And so when I came forth as a child, I may not have gained the dis the, uh, the advantages rather, uh, but I had a disadvantage of not yes. growing up yes. in knowing this. Cultivating. And, right. I was not cultivated right. in it. So as an adult, I got to this stage and now God has to come against all of this <laughs> Yes. stuff yes. that's down yes. inside of me that yes. life in yes. motion yes. has put down inside yes. of me mm -hmm. so there's some filters that oh my goodness has to be worked through that's good. That's and good. so all of these filters now I'm trying to filter through am I really hearing the voice of God yes. Do, is this really God talking Ooh, to me man. you know and so it's being filtered through my life and my life yes. in motion and how it mm -hmm. developed me mm -hmm. yeah. as an adult and we don't want that with our children. We want to give our children yeah, the yeah, greatest yeah. of opportunities. Yes. We want to give our children the opportunity to be developed as God would have them to be developed. Yes. We don't want to just assume that as mm -hmm. parents, yes. we have yes. a responsibility, an earthly responsibility, yes. or a secular responsibility of raising them, but we have a responsibility yes. as parents to mm -hmm. raise them as God would have us to raise them. Yes. Think yes. about Samuel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember Samuel. Yes. Samuel's mom said, and, and I am sure rephrasing this, mm -hmm. Samuel's mom said, God, if you, if you just let me have him, I will put him back in the church and I will allow him to be yes. raised in yes. the uh, ammunition of you, Lord, yes. your word, yes. all you. of that. Yes. I will let yes. you have him. I give him back to you. Yes. Yes. And so yes. Samuel is one of the prophets that we're going mm -hmm. to be teaching mm -hmm. our children yes. on. But I just want you parents to understand. Yes. Parents, grandparents, uh, aunties, uncles, it is so key that we give our children the right ammunition and the right things that they know 
to be raised as godly yes. children, yes. Yes. as yes. God's yes. children mm -hmm. yes. in yes. this earth. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, amen. Yes, that is so true. And I think yes. that'll be there uh, in the coming days and years. You know, I think that'll be what you just said, Cherie, is going to be uh, their, their greatest defense. It, I mean, it is their yes. only yes. defense. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Yes. yes. Yeah, and it's like having a hiding place for your child in an hour mm -hmm. like this, yes. under the shadow, the tutelage mm -hmm. of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Praise God, mm -hmm. armed and ready for Amen. battle. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Uh, Amen. And we Amen. have been uh, called by God for such a time as this to invest in the life of these children as mm -hmm. never before. Again, as we look out in the world today, we need a safe haven for our children, yes. a haven in the wisdom of God, a haven knowing yes. and having knowledge of the supernatural power of the kingdom of God, not letting Hollywood school like kids and the horror movie school like kids. Amen. You know, that's why your parents, it's important when you come, you, we, they are, the adults are gonna be taught how to parent your prophetic child, yes. meaning your child that you want to hear that hearing from God and learning to hear from God. And we're all increasing in that. We're ever learning, praise God, but oh, thank God for the blessing, for the benefit. Amen. So I am excited about this uh, venture and what God is doing and uh, all those that are investing, those that, that are, see the necessity, the need. So please share the video, put it on your page, send it around, praise God. And I'm excited about life in motion because we're going to be talking about a lot of topics. <laughs> so uh, give us some input. What should they do, Sheree, if they have a question? Uh, what should they do oh, they have definitely. A, uh, we are looking so forward to this and to sharing uh, different things with you, different topics with you. So we would like for you to inbox us. If you have a topic that you would like to discuss, mm -hmm. any topic, yes. inbox us. I mean, mm -hmm. any topic. Right. Now, here's a disclaimer. <laughs> we may not discuss your topic because maybe your topic is something that we necessarily would not tackle. But what we're going to try to do is to try to uh, be able to inbox you back or either say it live. Right. Um, not necessarily your topic that you put out there, but the fact that who we think you should uh go to and talk to about your request. The other disclaimer is that we are human. So everything that we have voiced today is clearly our opinion, but we will also quote Bible as well. So um, feel free, inbox us, or you can do your comments, and um, we're looking at your comments as you're commenting to us, but. We're going to enjoy this life yeah. in motion. Yes. I'm here yes. with my three sisters, uh, I mean my two sisters. <laughs> I got my, my brother behind the scenes who is always known to me as the captain. And he is the runner of this ship right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise God. And recipes, we're gonna be sharing recipes. Oh, yes. I mean, the sky is the limit. <laughs> yes. What's working for you? What's your pet peeve? What gets on your nerves? Yes. Uh, just tell, if you was running a church, what in God say, you got the freedom to do it like you wanna do it, what would you design? Would you have a coffee shop in there? Or would you uh, put a basketball court in there? Or what would it look like? What would your dream idea of church be? And you know, this is important because God is doing new things. So it's good to share. It's good to yeah. build from, uh, you know, words. You can say one word and call it, and it'll fit somebody else's puzzle. So Man. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. What, what do you think, Sydney? Um, well, I think uh, I just feel a, a need. I think we ought to pray have a prayer and invite mm -hmm. anybody listening uh, if they do not know the Lord. Yes, uh, lead us in This prayer. is an important thing, you know, for the adults, for the children uh, to come to know the Lord, number one, if they don't know him already, and to build off of the foundation of that. Yes. And uh, so right now, uh, Amen. we'll just mm -hmm. share a prayer and invite anyone that mm -hmm. is listening heavenly father yes god just reach out father by the power of the holy spirit today 
anyone that's listening and that will listen later on, Father, just touch their heart and just know anyone that is listening that he is able. He is able, he is able, and he is real, and he is just and always ready to forgive us of our sins. And we thank him today for everyone that will yield your heart over to the Lord today and just say yes. Just say yes, just say yes. In spite of what it looks like, feels like, seems like, or even hallelujah. He has come to redeem those that are hopeless and in despair. And we just say thank you, God, and we say yes. So just say yes to the Lord today and just surrender your heart to him. And he will be able to guide not just you, but if you have children, he'll guide them too. And we promise we are witnesses here today to say yes. He is able and he will do all that he has promised that he will do. In the name of Jesus, amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 I am excited, yes. bless God. So don't forget the market calendars for yes. April the 29th and April the 30th. And go to Cincinnati Bible Way Facebook page Amen. and uh, Cincinnati Bible Way Church Facebook page. <laughs> and uh, please register, bless God. It'll be very simple. Or come to one of our pages. Or we have the uh, a flyer on our pages, you know, to shoot you where you need to go. And so God bless you. And we are just thankful and excited. Excited and looking to see you there and so we are going to uh, get out of here and please don't forget to share the broadcast and uh, stay tuned for more life in motion praise God amen, amen. amen. God bless you we are have out a great weekend God bless. yes 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 praise <laughs> God